I had a weird dream. My friend Emily and I were trying to get to my house. Of course, that meant that we had to go through the spooky forest to get there. This forest harbored a lot of sentient beings, like elves and dwarves and trolls and all sorts of stuff. It wasn't exactly the safest place to be, so we snuck by most of it without any problems. But then out of nowhere, we found ourselves ambushed by zombies, so we, so we booked it to our house. Somehow managed to be unscathed. During which time, Emily disappears and my sister appears. Apparently there's some kind of party celebration in my favor, something about a graduation, I don't really know. And my uncle has brought six lions to celebrate. These lions are doing tricks, they're going around some kind of obstacle course, and I'm feeling really apprehensive right now. <laughs> I told my uncle, I don't really trust the lions, and he said, don't worry about it, it's all under control, they're domesticated. <laughs> I look at these lions, and they seem quietly sitting down and listening to him now, but I wasn't very convinced, but I had to go to the bathroom. When I went to the bathroom, my sister just came out. So I was about to go in when both of us noticed one of the lions strayed free and is walking directly at us. Terrified, we both went into the bathroom and locked the door. Unfortunately, this bathroom resembled a lot of public space bathrooms. It was just a simple stall with a lever as a locking mechanism. Not very safe against lions, and we found this out very quickly. The lion, with his huge massive body, was standing over the stall, and he's attacking us with his claws. At one point he bites my arm and wouldn't let go. My arm is bleeding profusely now and we're screaming and my sister decides to open the stall door and slam it against the lion. She keeps slamming it until the lion finally lets go of my arm, which doesn't seem to be much of an arm anymore, and we terrifyingly run upstairs. We seem to have lost the lion, but we seem to have come into this other spaceless dimension that the room seems to stretch everywhere, and there's only two rooms. Curious, me and my sister separate. Turns out this is my uncle's house. <laughs> I went into one room, and it had a huge glass window. Going inside the room revealed it to be an elaborate, huge bathroom. A few moments later, my mom, alongside my uncle and my cousin, come inside the room. They're talking and doing their thing, and everything's normal. Until I look outside of the window and notice what the endless void is harboring. A giant, terrifying bear. And not the typical bears that we've been raised with, no. A giant bear with huge teeth and massive claws. It looked like the size of a very, very small house. And it had a panda covering. So I call it the panda bear. But that does not represent what this bear actually looked like. In fact, the way it ran was more of a dog as it leaped and ran and jumped. And every time it hit the ground, we would all feel its impact. I stood there stupefied while my family hid for cover because there is a giant glass window showing in inside. Unfortunately, by the time my uncle got me down under something, the bear noticed us. Within seconds, the glass shattered and the whole wall separating us was in shambles. I got thrown to the wall and at this point I'm sustaining some pretty bad injuries considering that lion encounter we had earlier. My uncle is all of a sudden some kind of wizard and he's chanting some kind of spell to no avail. The bear seems to be immune. Fortunately, this room was to the side of the house, so we just had to jump down the second story. Tumbling down, we were still running away from the bear as we felt its impact as it jumped to the ground, still chasing us. Then, all of a sudden, I wake up and I realize it's just a dream. Till next time, bye bye.